And as our fellow public media stations provide us with all these compelling stories of American graduate champions, we've also met many outstanding supporters of education. Our sister station, Louisiana Public Broadcasting in Baton Rouge, is joining us to introduce to you a few more of the champions who are part of JAG. That's right, Jobs for America's Graduates. For more than three decades, JAG has helped nearly three quarters of a million young people graduate high school, pursue post-secondary education, and secure quality career opportunities. And Shauna Sanford is standing by live at LPB to help us tell more about the story. Good afternoon to you, Shauna. Great to have you join the broadcast. Good. Good afternoon, Juju. Thank you so much. It's great to be a part of American Graduate Day. And hello, everyone out there, and thanks so much for joining us today. I'm Shauna Sanford, and so excited to introduce to you a program that is having a tremendous impact, keeping kids in school right here in Louisiana. In 2012, our state graduation rate reached an all-time high of 72%. Now, coincidentally, the same year, the American Graduate Program began celebrating success stories like the ones that we're going to share with you today. And one of the programs at the forefront of helping students is Jobs for America's Graduates, also known as Juju just said, JAG. This dropout prevention and recovery program has a laser beam focus on helping at-risk youth graduate from high school. The JAG National Network is comprised of 31 state organizations and nearly 1,000 program affiliates. And here in Louisiana, more than 3,400 students are participating in JAG, which has a 94% graduation rate. But don't just take it from me. Here's what some JAG grads have to say about the program and how completing it pays off in more ways than one. I was pregnant my last year of high school. JAG reassured me that it'd be okay because you know people did do it every day. School was secondary to me, but having the foundation and the support that I had from my job specialist was, was instrumental. The JAG results are absolutely impressive and the overall economy numbers um, don't lie. Economically, JAG makes money for our country. You want a program that has data to back up its success and its efficiency and low cost per student to deliver. And it's got to be JAG every time. Even if you look at the amount of money per student JAG takes to implement a program, uh, uh, the data is showing uh, with their tremendous success rate rates in high school graduation and employment rates after JAG, uh, all of those funds are recouped by the state economy in 14 months because they're working and they're paying taxes on what they earn. It is my pleasure to introduce to you and talk with two people who know personally how JAG is reshaping lives. Meet Jeff Boren, a JAG specialist at Fountain Blue High School in Mandeville, and Alex Curtis, a recent JAG graduate and one of their shining success stories. Gentlemen, thank you so much for being here today. Thank you. This thank is a you. wonderful opportunity to talk about JAG. And Alex, I want to start with you. Share a little bit about where you were in your life when you first started the JAG program. Uh, to be honest, uh, like I said, Earlier, um, it's probably the darkest part of my life, between 15 and 18 years old, misled and just kind of a wild child. Hey, Jeff could tell you, and honestly, uh, I don't know. I, I think that I think that if I didn't do jag, I probably wouldn't be here. If I'm just being honest. Really. I wouldn't be here. It was that instrumental in changing the course of your life. I mean, it, without that and my spiritual faith, mm -hmm. I wouldn't be here. That's a tremendous statement to make. And uh, Coach Jeff, I understand that's what the kids call yeah, you, yeah. so we're just going to follow their lead today. Yeah. Um, he said that it was one of the darkest periods in his life, so what did that look like? He was a rebel. <coughs> um, <laughs> he, uh, he, he liked to butt heads. He liked to have power struggles, and it just um, played out ugly some days. And some days, I mean, he's a fun kid to be around, but sometimes the fun didn't stop when it needed to stop. And he would just, if there was a line to be crossed, he crossed it. And he, you know, I, I tease him. I tell him that they finally took the plaque down where his permanent seat <laughs> in uh, ISS was made. But um, 
You know, he, he was he was always, he just had a problem with authority. And I understand that yeah. at one point you almost kicked him out of the program, yeah. is that right? Yeah. Definitely. Talk a little bit about that. What happened? What was going on? Well, I was childish, I mean, <laughs> and I mean, I was, I stayed, in, I stayed in more trouble in school than I did at home, and eventually it equaled up. I was like, I stayed grounded, go to school, still got in trouble, ISS maybe three out of five days a week. And when you knew that he was on the verge of kicking you out of the program, what went through your mind? I mean, like any other kid, okay, whatever. Go ahead, do what you want. But at the same time, I knew that I was going to be letting a lot of people down. Mm -hmm. I got Coach Jeff, who didn't have to take that time to actually put it into me, invest in his time, and to making me want to be successful because I had to want it and at the time I didn't want it. Yeah and this happened what year was this? Um, about <coughs> halfway through he was in JAG three years so about halfway through about his junior year uh, I came to a point where I was like you know I'm gonna regret it if I kick him out because mm -hmm. I think it's gonna be what makes a difference but am I gonna regret it more if I keep him in and have all the headaches <laughs> he's given me and, and then I decided it would be easier to live with the headaches and and um, we we butted head a few times. Yeah, we, uh, yeah, a few times. We we, we and it times. and it ultimately paid off because you right. did graduate, right? Right. I mean, in the process between me trying to stay in a program with him, I had to beg him stay, like to let me stay in the class, uh -huh. and show him that okay, yeah, I'm going to do right, yeah, and get my grades straight, yeah. You know, in my junior year, I started to do that towards the end of my junior year, first semester, and second semester of my junior year. Mm -hmm. All Fs. And you know, I was playing, I was playing football, was trying to play, uh, get back on the team that, for that spring. Yeah. And uh, I showed my mom a report card that I made up. <laughs> yeah. And, and, and I, don't want, I have to I have to move on because we're running out of time, okay, but sorry. you did graduate, yeah. right. you are working offshore now, and you have given a sizable donation back to JAG, yeah. is that correct? Yes, because you believe in the program so much. Definitely. It's all about giving back. Right. And inspiring other young people out there. Exactly. Yeah. And so yeah. what would you say, Jeff, very quickly, to those students and other teachers out there who are working with kids, trying to keep them in school? If they can get a JAG program at their school, they'll, they'll be... The, the benefits will pay off big time. Uh, there isn't a kid out there that's not worth the headache. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you both so very, very much for your time, Alex and Coach Jeff. We really appreciate it. And we encourage all of you out there who are watching American Graduate Day to find out how you can help fight the dropout crisis in your community. Visit AmericanGraduate.org to learn more about JAG and other great opportunities to volunteer. Become an American Graduate Champion. Juju, I'm so thrilled that we got the chance to share our Louisiana story, and I know that there are lots of other great stories to share as well. And we're so glad to hear it from you. Thanks to you, Shauna, and to Jeff and Alex as well. The proven ability of JAG to elevate and accelerate students through school and toward meaningful careers is greatly needed and appreciated.